Hey, are you going to be the star of the school play? Do you know, I always fancy to be an actor. You'd have been good, no? Judging by the way you blag people into buying all that rubbish yourself. I only deal in quality goods. Got a couple of boxes in the back of the van if you fancy a look. No, thanks. So what time's died you at the Aussie? Miss Abby, I've told you another lie-in. Dad, I don't feel well. Not today, Aunt. I don't want your mother worrying about a thing. She's got to stay calm and relax with the pregnancy test. Dad, I feel really sick. Yeah, well, if you're not right by dinner time, the school will send you home. You sure he's all right? Nah, he's fine. I'm going for the paper. Do you want anything? I don't believe it. What? <sighs> the assessor's knocked us back. Oh, no. The insurance company say they'll pay for the damage to the door and nothing else. How can they do that? They can do what they want as long as they cover it in a small print. After all that as well. Not a word to your mother. At least not until we got the results of the pregnancy test, OK? Yeah. It's one thing after another. Dad. Go on. I'm not going up to your mother either. But you're going to school, and that's final. Where's our money? Just leave me alone. You know we can't do that. Oh. Ooh, suddenly standing up for yourself, are you? Ooh. Big mistake. <laughs> this isn't juniors anymore. This is serious. Don't you dare touch me ever again. From now on, you do as you're told. Give us what we want and don't even think of trying to stand up to us. Next time we meet, you better have a tenner each for us. Welcome to the seniors, Anthony. 